M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are on the Yaesu FT710 and we are running a Mac PC. About this Mac, we will show you that it is running, let's have a look, Mac OS Monterey version 12.6.5. So it's 2005 model, uh, so it's an older model and it took me a while to sort of get everything working. Now you go, the, the, I'll just show you what I did basically. You go to the usual WSJTX site here, scroll near the bottom and you've got the Mac download. Now there is this thing where it makes you download this, this Darwin DMG. I'm new to Mac by the way. And then within that there's some instructions. So I'm gonna put the link for this in so you can follow them. But you basically download this file which is here at the bottom this which is like a, a script that you copy and then follow these instructions I will do a separate video doing that but right now it's a bit of an overview but it's all here in these in these links read me and that and not everyone has to do this so let's just close this down here a minute the other thing was the driver that took me a while I did have to download a driver and I'll put the link for this as well CP210 times USB to UART bridge drivers. And when you download the driver, again, link in description, this is the one I downloaded, CP210VCP Mac. Okay, so download that as well. When you, after you download it and reboot the computer, when you go to audio settings, so at the top here, there's a couple of weird things with, with this, and that is that the WSJTX menu, it doesn't appear at the top of the any of these two windows here for FT8, it actually appears here at the top of the PC, look, about, and then and then you, that's where you can change your, your preferences and settings. Now mine in the general are my call sign, IOA to one's my location, radio wise, the one that worked for me was I had to select DV, SCU, SLAB, USB to UART, and that only showed up after I downloaded that driver. The board rate is 38400, which you have to set on the radio. What I did is just everything on the radio, I just set to that number. Uh, I've got cat selected here, and the rest I didn't change anything. Audio wise, it just, USB audio device was fine. That's all I had to select. Click OK. Now if you go to audio, so at the, on a Mac PC, tap your little Apple, and then go to system preferences, and then here, uh, in the search, type audio. Okay, and then we'll go to sound input. At the moment, it's got it's showing my microphone, my camera that's on my OBS. But that's what I got there. Now we'll just change it to output USB. And that also, you know, that's what you're showing there. I'm just showing you everything I've got because the bottom line is it's working. I've had a contact, not loads of contacts. But if you can see that my screen, there's a massive, I've got big interference there. So you need to get, I need to dig out some ferrite rings and, you know, get rid of all that interference. On the radio, you just go to push the function button, go to radio set, and then go down to, S on SSB, you just change everything you can see I've got it set to mod source. The mod source is set to rear. And then any cap rate things you see, set them to 3800. That's what I did. Then go down to the mod, the PSK one as well. PSK data. And scroll up. I haven't changed the game, but you could. I'm just showing you all the settings. But I basically set it to rear and 38400 board rate. Now you could use the preset stuff, but I haven't done that. We'll go back, then we'll go to operation settings. Go to general, scroll down, and 
Hopefully my hands aren't in the way. See the cap rate? I've set them all to 3, 8, 400. That's what worked for me. If you go up, you've got cap rate 2 and cap rate 1. I just set them all to 3, 8, 400, okay? Now, I did put the radio into the frequency 7074 uh, data USB. Just press the mode, the mode button, which is here, and then you can select data and USB, like so. But if you look at the software, we hold the tune at the moment. Now, I have. To, if you tap the meter on the radio, you can keep tapping on until it shows ALC. You can do a tune here. Now you can see my ALC is quite high, so you just lower it down. That's what I do. But you can lower down the settings inside the actual radio. You don't have to do it. This is a bit of a you know, quick way of doing it, just sliding this power. See the way it's, if you look at the needle on my radio. Really, you don't need more than 20 watts, really, if you ask me. on. Um, FTA and then you just enable TX then it will cycle through and it will start to generate messages. I got that one contact. If I, if I get some ferrite rings it should get better. See all this interference here on the on the waterfall. The other thing is right click and set RX TX as well. We'll enable TX again. When that cycles to the end it will start TXing. Basically the cable that goes from the back of the radio to the, don't forget I'm on an Apple Mac here. It, you need to do some very good RF screening on it. So I'm going to have a little hunt round because I'm sure I've got a an, um, a ferrite ring here that I can make create an RF choke, and then I'll do more videos. But I just thought I'd show you the setup here. I'm just hoping that I haven't missed anything out. The crucial thing is the download, the the DNG thing that I told you to read earlier, the driver. That was without the driver, nothing worked. So that's crucial, and all the links will be in this video. So thanks for watching my channel. This is Jesu FT710. Apple Mac PC, including driver and other tips for using FT8. And more videos when I've got it working perfectly. Bye for now, 7.3.